Hey, what's going on guys? It's Straight Tech here. And today we're going to be adding a plastic hard shell case for my M1 MacBook Air. Now, I believe this one's compatible also with the 2018, 2019 MacBook Air 13 inch. And so, like I said, there's the M1, there's a 2020 version. This one fits it as well. So it should fit those three generations. Now, let's get into it. I believe, I think it also comes with a screen protector and I think a cover for the keyboard as well so it won't get as dirty. But let's find out. Let's open this up. And the name of this case is called Mosiso. I think that's how you say it. Mosiso. It's on Amazon. I'm going to put the link down in the description below if you guys would like to purchase this one exactly. I think it's one of the best selling ones right now on Amazon for your MacBook Air. So I'm going to put this to the side. So yeah, so as you can see here, it comes with a lot of different colors on here. It comes with baby pink, serenity blue, black, mint green, a lot of colors. So it's good that it gives you a lot of options for you to pick. And also, like I said, here it comes with the silicone keyboard cover. So for that as well, you can also pick different types of colors. So I think that's pretty cool. Put that to the side. Okay, the one I got right here is crystal black. So I didn't want to go and buy a colorful color so I just got one that's pretty decent looking all right so I had to put out the pocket knife because it's actually pretty hard to open okay I think I got it all right here we go so this is the screen protector right here Oh, and I forgot to mention, it also comes with a little pouch for you to insert your chargers or anything you really want to put in this little bag. So I think that's a pretty cool thing that they included in this package. So thank you, Mosiso. The size, so here is the case for the keyboard, the little cover that it comes with. So like I said, I got it all black, nothing too fancy. All right, we're gonna start out with the case first. Oh, they actually wrapped up these cases really good to the point where it's kind of hard to even open it. Alright, I'm assuming this one goes right on top of the laptop right here. I'm just clean this up. This side has a little bit of a little bump right here, so I believe this one goes in the front of the laptop. So it's going to be coming. From this side it's gonna be laying down so I'm gonna try it really quick so yeah so there you go so basically it snaps from right here little corner the same thing same thing for this side all right so i believe these little bumps are here so that way when you do close it it doesn't actually hit the screen and crack it so it kind of protects it a bit so that's the only way it would make sense so that's how it looks like from the top so like i said this is a crystal black one it actually looks kind of bluish depending on how the light hits it so it's actually pretty nice let me flip this around Alright, so there you go. So as you can see here, it's like these little bumps right here. So that way it has some grip when you're putting it on the table. So for the white ones right here. And they also came with some extra ones, I believe. So these look identical to these. Let me see if I put them next to each other. So I think they are the same. So these are just extras. If those end up rubbing off, I think over time they do wear off. So it's pretty nice that they brought you some, gave you some extra ones in the package. This one is gonna go, I believe this little carpet part right here the little cup part goes right here behind so it won't interfere when you do open it so it's kind of more of a snapping case put that there there you kind of do here a snap here and there see right there Pretty nice actually, I like it. It's pretty nice color. 
I mean, it's not going to be the best case out there, but for the price and what you get for it, I think it's pretty good. So, there you go. Little cutouts right there. For your USB-C ports, Thunderbolt ports. And for the headphone jack, as you can see right there, it leaves it open as well. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to put on is the screen protector. Since this is not touch screen, I really don't care what kind of protector is on it. So, it comes with a little cloth right here. And it has like a little cutout right here to the top where you have the webcam so you know where to put it this is my first time ever putting a screen protector on a laptop so wish me luck hopefully it comes out pretty good let me just turn it off really fast clean this screen because it is really really dirty just give me a few minutes guys all right so clean this screen is actually pretty hard just because every time i'll clean it i will slip and i'll touch one of the buttons and it will keep turning on the laptop so this is the best what i could do hopefully good enough it leaves no bowls behind but from there I'm gonna see if I could put this on Alright, so what I found a little bit easier, let me see if I can zoom this in really quick. So this little part right here, try to put it to the left side as possible. So I put the screen protector right in the center of where the webcam is at, but actually you try to put the webcam on the left side of the hole. So there you have it. It kind of lined up right after that, but right now it has a lot of bubbles. Just give me a few minutes, I'm going to try to take them off. All right, so I did try my best. It was actually pretty hard. It's not like a phone protector where this, your phone is actually really small. This is actually a big screen, so it was pretty hard for me to take out all the bubbles and to actually line it up perfect. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but from the left side, it's actually pretty good. But from the right side, I do have a lot of little bubbles here and there. So as you can see, I'm right there. So hopefully they do go away on themselves over time, but I doubt it just because this is not a touchscreen laptop, so you're not really gonna be touching this screen. So most likely it's gonna, gonna end up staying like this. And I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And if I don't like it, I'll probably just end up taking it off and just use the case how it is. All right, next step, it's gonna be the keyboard cover. So this is also new to me as well. I've never put one on before. So it also comes with two of them as well. I did not realize that. Let me just clean this a little bit. So there you go. Basically, you just put it on and try to line it up as much as you can. It's a little sticky, but not as much. So it gives you the chance to fix it if you do mess up at first, like I did. Most likely, you're gonna have to keep moving it on left and right, left and right. So the way I try to line it up is by looking at the caps lock light. So if I could see it, then it's pretty much lined up. But if I can't, then that means it's not lined up. It is not covering up the touch ID on the right side over here. So it's just basically covering up every other button besides that button. But overall, it does feel kind of nice. It feels kind of cushiony, kind of rubbery. So it feels kind of nice when you do type it like that, just as an example. So we're going to see how it is when you do close it. Let me put this up a little bit right here. So I'm going to close it. Let me see once you open it. Okay, so it stays on. So that's one of my fears that once you close it, it's gonna stick onto the screen and once you open it it's gonna basically take it off the keyboard but actually it doesn't i don't even think it touches the screen to be honest oh, so there you go so far so good and from a distance you can't even tell that there's a cover on your keyboard as well so that's pretty cool it's pretty minimal i like it a lot so the only thing that's pretty hard about putting this whole thing on out of the whole package probably putting on the screen protector when you do do that make sure the screen is clean make sure you do take your time don't rush it try to take out all the bubbles as much as you can uh, like i said i do have some bubbles on my screen you can't really see them once the screen is on 
so far so good i do like it everything looks pretty covered so the keyboard is protected the screen is protected the whole laptop itself is protected i do like this case a lot i do love this color on it like i said it does come with a lot of colorways i do like that it gives a lot of options so i have some cutouts on here for it not to overheat so it won't be as hot when you're trying to do some heavy rendering on your laptop so like i said i'll put the link down in the description below if you guys do want to purchase this one on amazon it was around 20 dollars so for that price you do get a lot for it and i do like it a lot and i do recommend it before you guys leave this video make sure you guys give it a like subscribe to my channel take care and i'll see you guys next time